Hey you, I'm April and this is Alt Life Yoga. You just found a really awesome 30 minute yoga practice along with a really awesome playlist that we'll be moving along to. And our movement today is gonna to be focused on really tapping into exactly how the body works and exactly who we are inside. Uh, I love TED Talks. I really, really love TED Talks. And so I was watching some last night and one of them was by Brian Little and it was a discussion of who are you really? And I'll put links to it, don't worry, they'll, they'll be down there, you should check it out. Uh, and I really liked it, the guy was really funny and he was talking about you know, the difference between introverts and extroverts and all these other personality traits and how it's important to really identify with exactly who you are and where you fall with these traits because different traits have different benefits and different traits have certain things that we need to be aware of so that we can protect ourselves. There's kind of vulnerabilities with certain traits. For example, I am an extrovert and I tend to be a little overwhelming to people who are introverts. And introverts tend to need a little bit of time to decompress after they are essentially forcing themselves or being forced by others to engage in extroverted activity. They need to be able to level themselves out. I probably should level myself out a little bit more. One of the reasons I do yoga, because in order for me to clear out, I usually need to clear out by a lot of movement. Movement feels really amazing to me. It helps me to focus on my body on more specific stimuli rather than just letting everything go wild uh, has definitely this yoga practice has definitely helped me to not only understand myself but to accept and love myself so i'm really excited that you're here to explore some movement to explore some repetitious movement so that we can revisit shapes and also we're going to be working a lot on the um, chaturanga and plank transition through up dog. Um, we'll do some really cool stuff. I'll, I'll go over it on the mat. Uh, I've been having a lot of people that I work with that really appreciate uh, kind of revisiting this idea every so often, but exactly where is my weight? How am I supposed to be doing this? Um, some good, hopefully injury prevention stuff that we'll go over. So we'll do that on the mat. You may be noticing right around now that I said we would be moving to music and said, April, you haven't introduced our musical artist. That's right, because I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. Right now, I want you to click right down here. There is a link to another play, another YouTube, well, a playlist that's got a whole bunch of really awesome music. So you can just leave two windows open, start that pretty much right about now, and then that's gonna continue to play throughout this practice. And then I know some people have said, April, you're really awesome. Your music's a little wild, it's driving me crazy. So you don't have to have the music if you don't want to, but mm, I don't know, I kinda like to jam out. So if you wanna jam out with me, click this link, go here, put it on. Okay, are you ready? Awesome, me too. Don't worry, all of the info for all of these songs, again, gonna be linked down in this uh, description. Make sure you check out the website for all kinds of information about a neat blog write-up I'll do, and of course, subscribe, leave me comments. How, how do you like this new format? Is this working for you? I've had some complications with the other way, so I'm thinking that this might be all right, but I really need to hear from you. I really need to know what you think because of course I'm doing this for you guys, so I wanna make sure we find something that works for all of us. Anyway, yeah, the music's starting, which, is, which means, you know, we should move. Let's do it, yeah? So starting up in Hero's Pose or Virasana, um, you feel free to sit up on something or if it feels more comfortable for you to just sit down with your legs in front of you, that's totally fine. Uh, this is just an easy place for me to transition into the next shapes. What we're going to do is a little bit of work with the arms, kind of simulating a chaturanga or vinyasa with having the hands not on the ground, bearing weight. It's a little bit more interesting um, or maybe even more uh, available for us to notice exactly what's going on in the muscles and the way that things are going in the shoulder joint. So take your arms out in front of you, right in front of your shoulders, and I want you to spread your fingers out really, really wide, and then push forward from your fingerprints. And you kind of feel that the shoulders start to move forward right on the collarbone. So then wrap your elbows down, and then I want you to drag down like you're clawing nails on chalkboard, but without that lovely sound and keep pressing outwards now through the fingerprints, having your elbows down, the outsides of the armpits are pushing down, and you can feel like your hands are getting really strong. So a lot of times they say, push down into all of your knuckles in your hands when you're in a plank or moving through up dog and down dog, and people say, oh, my fingers get tired. So good, build up strength here with the hands off the floor, not bearing that weight. 
and then simulating that we're going at the top of the plank. When you push forward a little bit more in the hands and feel like the backs of the shoulders separate a little bit, a little bit more space between the shoulder blades. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, draw those elbows in right in along the sides of the ribs and keep spreading the fingers out. You should feel like the arms are working pretty hard. And then in your next inhale, start pushing the hands forward and lift up your chest, keeping your shoulders down and back. And then your exhale, let the hands just float up above the head. Go ahead and give your fingers a little bit of wiggle. And your inhale, press the hands out in front of you, dropping elbows and armpits. On your exhale, bring the elbows in tight against those ribs. And inhale, push the hands up. This time, take a little heart opening with it. And on your exhale, float the hands up. Give your fingers a little wiggle. So on your inhale, coming into simulating plank, keeping the back really broad and the chest open. Exhale coming down chaturanga elbows squeeze in inhale just like up dog finding your back bend exhale letting the arms float up and relax a bit and one more time inhale plank pose broad shoulders elbows down exhale squeeze it in inhale back bend push forward lift the chest up exhale float the arms up overhead give it a little wiggle like just did the dishes pose and take your hands down in front of you, moving into a table pose. We'll take a couple of down, um, cat and cow, we'll take cat and cow to start off with. Keeping your fingertips spread out, wrap those elbows back and keep pushing down into the floors with a broad back as you inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round deep into the spine. Again, inhale, opening up the front of the body. Exhale, moving back. And see if you can create just as much space in the sides of the neck as you had going when you were doing those chaturanga vinyasa flows in the air. And finish up this round, coming to cat pose, lifting the belly button up, and then come out into a more neutral spine. You're going to isolate the movement into just one hand. Stretch your right leg behind you. And you can feel how the weight's shifting in your hands. You have to press a little bit stronger into your right hand to keep the weight even. Then take your left arm in front of you, but wrap the elbow down so that you can keep the chest open. Take another deep breath in here, and then lower left hand, right knee down, and switch to the other side. So as the left leg goes behind you, it's only about hip height. Lift up the inside of your pink, uh, heel, and then the right arm moves forward with the left hand pushing down with all of that weight down into the ground, right into the fingertips, wrapping the elbow and armpit down on the right side. Breathe in here, exhale, take it back down. We're gonna switch between these with the breath. Inhale, lift it up, right leg, left arm. Exhale, lower it down. Try to keep your hips and shoulders even. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale, lower. Inhale, spread those right fingertips out, wrap your left elbow down, exhale, lower. Inhale, right arm forward, left inner heel up, exhale, take it down. This last time, check in to see if you're still using your center, your abdominal muscles, and keeping the breath moving. Last time, inhale, reach it out, exhale, come back down. Now widen your knees and sit back into child's pose, relaxing into your shoulders. So if you feel the outsides of your armpits pulling down towards the floor, you'll notice the shoulder blades have more space between them, releasing perhaps any tension that's come up through all of this focus on arm work. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And then looking forward, and then come up into the top of a plank, for reals this time. But be on your knees so that you can focus more on the arms and then don't worry, we'll get on the toes later. So just like before, pushing into your fingertips, wrapping the elbows, the armpits in and opening up the chest. On your exhale, squeeze those elbows back by the sides of the ribs. You wanna move forward and only down about halfway so that you can continue to move forward on the tops of the feet, stretching the chest through upward dog, fingertips wide, curl the toes, downward facing dog, but unlike when we were sitting on our heels, you're not going to let the arms relax. You're going to keep pushing down to the fingertips and also wrapping those elbows to the floor. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Good. Now moving forward again into the top of your plank. Roll the body through. Wrap those armpits in. Push down to the fingertips. On your inhale, move forward a little bit more. Open up the chest. Exhale only down about halfway. Inhale forward again onto the tops of the feet. 
open the chest, exhale, downward facing dog. And take a deep round of breath here. Deep exhale. One more time, breathing in. Breathing out. Look forward and bring your feet up to your hands. And setting up about two fists width distance apart and then pull your heart through, opening up your spine, lifting the tailbone. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, hands meet down at the heart. So we'll take a full round of sun salutation. A, take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, forward fold. Pull the heart through your flat back. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back to the top of your plank. Open the chest up. Push the floor away. Exhale, elbows in tight. Inhale, further forward up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two more breaths here. Right under the fingertips, heart melting to the floor, heels melting to the floor. Inhale, exhale. Looking forward, stepping forward, feet underneath the hips. Inhale, forward, lift. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands down into your heart. Let's add on. Take another breath in and stretch upwards. On your exhale, forward fold, inhale, heart opening, exhale, plant the hands, back again to the top of the plank, spreading the fingers out, opening the chest, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, downward dog. So keeping the weight even on your hands, keep spreading out through those fingertips, just like when we were in table pose and extended the right leg, you're going to extend the right leg back up. And then look forward, step it up right behind the right hand. Left heel down, inhale, warrior one. Go ahead and settle down here for a breath, focusing on the long lunge, lifted heart. On your exhale, moving into warrior two, maybe adjusting the feet a little bit to really spread the legs out, spread out your stance. Deep breath in. Exhale. Lower your hands down, come back to the top of the plank, and then inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, vinyasa, moving forward, continuing to spread out the fingers, and spreading out your hands, even distribution of the weight, stretch the left foot back, and on your exhale, step it forward to the left hand, right heel down, warrior one, exhale, settle into the shape, inhale, stretch upwards, exhale, warrior two, and spread out your shoulders, Make sure the tailbone's underneath you. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, taking the hands down. Once again, moving through that vinyasa, opening up the chest, lowering down, opening up upper dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Relax those heels. Inhale, stretching the right leg up again. Exhale, step it forward. And one breath into warrior one. One breath out to warrior two. Stay low, lift up, peaceful warrior, softening that front shoulder. Take another breath in. Side angle, right elbow to the knee, reaching the left arm up and over, just in front of the ear. So keep pushing down into that bottom arm so that you're not crunching into the shoulder joint. Take an inhale. Exhale, take both hands down. You can skip these vinyasas whenever you like. But see how much you can keep moving through, continuing to build up the strength, the connection with that opening movement. Inhale, stretch the left leg back up. Exhale, step it forward. One breath into warrior one. One breath out to warrior two. These new shapes will stay a little bit longer. Lift up, peaceful warrior. Notice I'm not letting the hips move back or stretching back too far. Lifting upwards. Exhale, side angle, left elbow moves down into the thigh so that the shoulders stack, the chest remains open. Deep breath in, stretching out long. Exhale in, taking the hands down. And inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adding on more, stretch the right leg back. Looking forward, right foot to the right hand. One breath, warrior one. Exhaling, warrior two. Peaceful warrior, one inhale. Side angle, one exhale. 
Inhaling, this time sky archer, push into the front foot, straighten that front leg, and relax a little bit into your hips. So the fronts of the thighs are still lifted, but the hips relax, so you feel a little bit more um, movement right around that, that space. We're gonna come forward, triangle from here, moving out over a straight right leg, but let your hips be soft. So that's gonna let the spine move out and maintain a little bit more length, a little bit more straightness in the spine. Breathe in here. Exhale, take the hands down. Good, step back from here, plank pose. Right to down dog or forward, lowering to the halfway point, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog, other side. Inhale, left leg lifts. Looking forward, left foot to the front. Right heel down, warrior one, breathing in. Exhale, warrior two. Peaceful warrior, legs stay steady. Side angle, chest stays open. Straightening that front leg, peaceful warrior. So I'm not trying to floor. Straightening the front leg. This is sky archer where I'm not trying to pull backwards. I'm lifting up and letting the left side of the body stretch out. Keeping that length as I exhale, coming forward, triangle pose. And lifting up the right arm right from the center of the armpit so the chest remains open. Hips are still soft, legs are strong. Deep breath in. Exhale, take both hands down. Good. Downward dog or at the top of the plank. Move forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Adding on more, right leg stretches back. Stepping the foot forward. Warrior one. Back heel down as you breathe in. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, side angle. Maybe now the fingertip comes down to the floor. And then lifting up, strong spine, straightening the front leg, sky archer. Exhale, triangle pose. We'll stay here for a breath, lifting up that top shoulder. Then go ahead and take both hands down. And nice, wide pyramid stance, lifting the chest forward. Take another inhale, and then bend into that knee, come down, step your right foot back. Open up the chest, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg goes back. Kind of forgot where we were there. Step the left foot forward. Warrior one, breathing in. Warrior two, sinking downwards, open chest. Peaceful warrior. Exhale, side angle. Maybe this time left fingertips come to the floor. Then straighten your left leg. Sky archer. Triangle pose as you exhale to come forward. Then inhale to open up. And now come down as you exhale over that front leg. Now your knee can be a little bit bent. You might adjust the back foot a little bit. But try to lift over that thigh. Softening your shoulders, the sides of the ears. Deep breath in. Exhale, go ahead and bend forward. And you're going to step back into the top of your plank. Now you can always take this on your knees instead, using the same function, stretching out through the hands and keeping the chest open. More shapes, stretch the right leg back. Look forward, step the right foot up. Left heel down, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Side angle coming forward. Exhale. Straighten the front leg. Sky archer. Exhale. Triangle pose. Lifting up through the left shoulder. This time coming down into a lunge. What we're going to do is rotate this lunge. Pull your right hip back. Take the right arm up. And then pull back through the right hip, lifting up the back of the left thigh so there's more room to rotate the spine. Take another breath in. Exhale, both hands come down. Stepping back, vinyasa on your knees or your toes or skipping it, continuing the breath. Pull the heart through, up dog. Lift the belly button, hips up, heels down, down dog. Inhale, left leg moves back. Exhale, step it forward. Warrior one as you breathe in. Warrior two, breathing out. Peaceful warrior, inhale. Exhale, side angle. Strong feet, straighten the front leg. 
Sky Archer. Exhale, Triangle Pose. Breathing in, lift up. Exhale, go ahead and fold in so that we can rotate up through the left arm now. Twisting this lunge, lifting the spine out, pulling the ears out of the shoulders. One more inhale. Exhale, take both hands down. And then step the left foot back. Take another vinyasa. We're gonna meet in child's pose. You can go straight there or move through this flow again. And deep breath in. Exhale, lower the knees down. Come onto the tops of the feet. Sit the hips back on the heels and relax your head. Maybe even gently move the head side to side to massage the forehead. Make sure there's no tension or knitting that's come in there. After that work, soften your shoulders, the outsides of the shoulders, finding space behind the shoulder blades. Deep, steady breath. One more inhale. Exhale. We're going to come up and back into downward dog and move through this flow one more time, adding on a couple more shapes. Stretch the right leg back. Look forward, right foot to the front. Warrior one, inhale. Stay low, warrior two, exhale. Maybe get lower. Peaceful warrior, lift up. Side angle, coming forward. Sky archer, stretch up. Strong right leg, push into the big toe. Come forward, triangle pose. Lift up, inhale. Exhale, take the left hand down. Keep pushing into that front foot. Take your right hand to your hip. From here, lifting the shoulder, maybe the arm. Revolve triangle, breathing in. Exhale, taking the hands down. I'm gonna move up, half moon. Coming up, pressing down into that big toe. It's gonna help to straighten your leg. Now look for your left toes. If you can't find them, they may be a bit too far behind you. Then lift up from the left shoulder. One more inhale, half moon. Exhale, forward fold, front of your mat. Inhale, heart pulls through. Exhale, heart folds down. Inhale, heart to the ceiling, lift up. Exhale, hands come down into your heart. All right, one more side, stretch the arms open. Exhale, fold. Inhale, pull the chest through. Exhale, plant the hands. Maybe you can jump back straight into your chaturanga. Opening the chest up, wide fingers. Curl the toes, downward facing dog. And inhale, left leg goes back. Even shoulders, step the left foot forward. Right heel down, warrior one. Exhaling, warrior two, spread it out. Stay low, peaceful warrior, lift up. Exhale, side angle, deep hamstring stretch. Then pulling up, straight legs, sky archer, reach to the sky. Exhale, triangle pose, opening that top arm, deep breath in. Exhale, take the right hand down, left hand's going to gently pull that hip up, lift the shoulder, maybe from that armpit, your left arm lifts, revolve triangle. And we're going to go ahead and come down out of the shape. Half moon, standing balance. So look for your right toes. Make sure you're maintaining that alignment with a strong leg, lifting up the pinky toe. And take your arm up from the shoulder. So notice my shoulders aren't totally stacked, so my arm isn't directly up to the ceiling. You don't want to have it just flying behind you. Use that whole shoulder, arm, fingertip alignment to lift you up out of the floor. On your exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold down. Stand all the way up. Breathe in. Exhale, hands down into your heart. Push the palms together for a moment. And feel that open space in your chest. The shoulders drop down. There's space in the sides of the neck. This activation, this pressing into the palms, creates activation in the whole rest of the body, that whole strength that we've been feeling throughout this practice. And take the arms back behind you. Allow yourself to pull into a nice big chest stretch, dropping the knuckles down as you interlace them behind your back. If you like, you can take the head, band, head back. Make sure you're not popping the tailbone out. Try to keep it dropped down. One more deep breath in. Keep the hands there. Now pull your low ribs down. We'll get a little bit more into the fronts of the shoulders. 
Neither way is really wrong. This is more of an arm stretch. That was more of a back bend where we just came from. Soften the ribs down a little bit more. Exhale. And then inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Lifting the heart up, flat back, lift your tailbone too. And then in your exhale, fold down, widen the feet, about mat with distance apart, and let your left knee bend down pretty deep. Get in a stretch to the outside of the right hip as you take the right arm up. Again, right from the armpit, get a nice twist. Deep breath in. Exhale, take the right hand down. Let the right leg bend with the left arm. Lift up from the armpit, so you're really opening the chest up. Nice twist for the spine, breathing in. Exhale, taking the hands down. You might have to turn your toes out a little bit. I really do. Try to keep them forward to work the outer hips, but if you need to turn them out a bit, you can. You also might have to adjust the spacing of your feet. You know, do whatever you need in order to make sure that your body's being accommodated, that you're working for the best of you. And then lift your chest up, bringing the palms together. You could have fingertips down, but keep lifting the chest up. That'll be the focus. And you can keep the palms together or in contact with the floor, maybe reaching the arms up. A little bit of core work, a little bit of lift into the chest, really working deep into those hips. We've done a lot of upper body. We'll do a little bit more lower body now. Breathe in and go ahead and take the hands down so that you can support yourself, bringing the hips down onto the mat and the legs forward. And I'm going to take the arms up. Now pull your chest open. You're going to draw the shoulder blades back together and keep the chest lifted. So when you watch movies, the old Bela Lugosi, you see vampires coming out of their coffin. We're going to go back in really slow, rewinding the tape. So you're not curving all the way through the spine. You're trying to keep the chest lifted, kind of like in boat pose. But yes, the lower spine, the parts that make contact, you're going to roll down. So you might go slower than me. But when you get all the way down, stretch your arms back behind you, push the heels forward, take a deep breath in, stretch the fingertips behind you, and then in your exhale, relax it down. You're going to take the right leg up, give yourself a little squeeze, wiggle around the hip a little bit, and then extend the leg, holding onto your hamstring, just press that hamstring forward. As you press the thigh forward into your hands, you notice the hips become a little bit more even. And just a little bit more rotation, deep breath in. Now release your hands and push that heel all the way down onto the floor. And then take your left leg and go ahead and give it a little wiggle. There's all that voodoo we feel like we need to do in order to get all of that stuff worked out in the hip. Relax your shoulders and stretch the left leg out. Hands on the hamstring, you're not bringing the leg in towards your body, you're pushing the hamstring forward. That's going to push the left hip forward so that your hips are even, there's weight length in the spine, in the waist, creating heat from activity, from length. Breathe in. And then release the hands, lengthen that left leg all the way down to the ground. Now push your heels up, toes up, fingertips back behind you. And then super speed, fast forward, sit up, Dracula out of its coffin. Good. and then come forward, forward fold. I find wiggling the hips around a little bit is a nice uh, cheat code, if you will, to getting the, the flesh back behind rather than underneath. And you may not be folding forward as much. I just do, this is what my body does. Some of us don't fold this way. So you fold however you fold, maybe that's up here. So don't focus on touching your head to your thighs, focusing on lengthening the belly over your thighs. You want a hamstring string stretch, not to achieve any sort of shape, it's the sensation. Take a deep breath in. Relax, exhale. And go ahead and lift yourself up again. And lifting up, open chest, rewind the tape again. Slowly pulling back, lifting the chest, pulling the belly button in, slow as you can, and then take the arms back behind you. Deep breath in, exhale, relax. And then bring your left foot on the floor, right ankle on the left knee, an old reclined pigeon. And then just as you had your hamstring into your hands before, see if you can move that right hip forward. And feel a little bit more rotation in the thigh. Make sure the right toes are pulling up to the knee, keeping the legs active. Dropping the shoulders down, breathe in. Exhale, release the left foot, release the right foot, 
and then your left ankle is going to come up to the right knee, grabbing onto the thigh. Now notice my hips lift up a lot as I grab. I'm going to soften them back down, especially softening that left foot for, or hip forward so that the thigh opens up, the rotation happens, and then the arms slowly start to relax. It's the friction of my hands holding on to the leg, not really using a whole lot of chest and shoulder and neck restriction. Take another inhale. Deep exhale. And then unwind your legs. Take them out in front of you. Take the arms back behind you. Deep breath in. Exhale, Dracula, sit it up. And then forward fold again. Wiggle this hips back. And just a few more breaths. Notice if it's changed. You just did a big thigh and hip opener. You might have more space to fold forward more. One more breath. Deep exhale. Lift up. And one more time, roll back. So open heart. You want to make sure the belly button's pulling back. Slowly lowering down. Again, you might be a lot slower than me. I've noticed I'm not very slow at this. I have a lot of people beating me at that game, but you know, I'm still doing my best. So press your heels forward, reach the arms back, nice long stretch. Notice how your low ribs are lifting up. We're gonna take that movement into a little back bend. So bring your arms down and come up onto your forearms, like you're sunbathing. Keep the toes lifted up, the legs strong, and start to push down into your forearms. You're gonna broaden the chest, bringing the shoulder blades back behind the heart, and maybe your head goes back. You might not like that and you might take it back up, but if your head is back, you can scooch the elbows a little bit further forward, maybe getting a deeper back bend, coming down, just touching the crown of the head, fish pose. Opening up the chest, deep breath in, and then gently lift the chin, widening your elbows, coming down onto the mat. And take your legs up, a little squeeze, rock side to side. And then bring the feet down onto the mat, about mat width distance. Let both of your knees go over to the left and then take the arms up and then gently hold that right wrist and very gently tug it upwards. And then stretching out the side, the shoulder joint, letting the chest and the heart lift up again, twisting into the low back, breathing in. And then release the right wrist, take the knees up. Now you don't have one knee on top of the other, your thighs are not stacked, they're very open from each other. Letting them fall down to the floor, soft, soft tug in the left arm. So you're not trying to hike the arms up into your face, you're letting the shoulders drop down, just getting a little stretch to the side, to the skin. Breathing in, breathing out, and then release the hands, take the knees up and let the legs extend out in front of you, bring the arms down by your sides, and nestle those shoulder blades as close as you can underneath your spine so the chest stays open. Letting it stretch out, also letting it remain open to all of this hard work that you've done. And really getting deeply in tune with the body, revisiting shapes over and over again so that we can remain mindful of the experience each time, mindful of how the experience changes each time. And taking great care to protect the body with strong work in the arms and shoulders and hands. Staying here in this Shavasana as long as you like and gently starting to lift yourself up as you feel ready. Bowing down to this light that lives within your heart, this wonderful intention, this yoga. Namaste.